Hello, everybody. Today, I went to a place in Kalihi Valley called Kay's Fish Market. And if you're not familiar with Kalihi Valley, it's um, right across the street from Kalihi Uka Elementary School. And there's a fair amount of street parking. You might have to walk a little bit down the street because there's just a whole bunch of just little random small shops and a nice game room in the back. But um, besides that, it's not sketchy in the daytime. Nobody bothers you. And it's actually a pretty big market full of lots of poke. Um, they do catering as well. So don't be confused. Go to the one that says Kay's Fish Market. Right next to it is Kay's Catering. It might look closed from the outside, but it's open uh, during normal business hours. You just have to you know, push the door open because it's kind of covered with signs and things. So it looks dark inside. But once you go in, it's nice and bright. It's got a whole bunch of Filipino foods, uh, ingredients to cook Filipino food at home and lots of fresh fish and uh, oysters and things. Very interesting. Um, a wide array of different kind of pokes. They actually, I was so disappointed. I'm sad, but the lady was really nice. Once you get talking with her, she said only uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, they do their cheap um, plate lunches, and you're not going to believe the prices. The chicken curry, beef stew, I saw like some other things, $3 for uh, a lunch, and some are $4, $5. Where can you get that? But uh, today's not a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so I couldn't get it. Um, I really wanted to try their really cheap lunch, but I got some other poke, and this is going to be an interesting exotic food more Filipino food um, tasting. I'm just getting the guts to taste it. I'm not really looking forward to it, but I'm open to trying it. I'm gonna do the uh, Kilawan, which is beef. Uh, they have Kilawan baka, which is raw beef, and that scared me a little bit. I have to go to work later on and I don't need bubble guts. So <laughs> I'm not gonna try that today, but I did try the Kilawan that's cooked. Um, she said there's a difference. There's two different ones. One's cooked, one's not. I also um, got some tripe. It looked like book tripe, and I'm interested to taste that because I don't mind book tripe and things like pho or whatnot. Uh, so maybe I'll like it. I don't know. But let's start with the normal stuff. I got some poke, and we're going to try the spicy poke first. So this is the spicy poke. Um, I got a half pound of it. it smells delicious. Let's try it out. Mmm, really good flavor and just that nice spicy kick to it. Got a lot of mayo, but not in a bad way. It's just very saucy, so that's good. Too bad that they don't have rice, but this would go really good with uh, like a poke bowl rice bowl. Soak up all that delicious mayo and spice. Fish is fresh, has all the good parts in it, pretty good chunks. Nice cubes cut up. Has a little bit of green onion in it. Flavor's really good. I think this store is very underrated. Next up, I got some taco poke. I really wanted to try their raw crab poke, but it's gonna be a little bit messy, so I didn't really wanna get that. But I do like raw crab poke. It looked really nice with some spice on it and really big chunks of crab, so that really looked good. So if you like raw crab poke, this is the place for you. You can go get some. And uh, this is the taco poke. Has some onion in it, green onion. I see a little bit of chili pepper flake on it. And it looks like they took some care into cutting it. It's really thinly cut. So it's easy to chew, really flavorful. Some good taco poke. And I like how the onions are also sliced really thin. So it goes so well together. You gotta get a piece of onion and a piece of taco with it. Super good. Definitely the good, a good place to go if you're in the Kalihi area and you're going to like a get together or something where you gotta bring some poke, have some beer with friends or drinks. Definitely winners. All the poke so far, very delicious. The taco poke here has just a little bit, I taste a little bit of sesame seed oil, but it's not very pre pre prevalent, but that's okay with me because I'm not really into too much sesame seed oil. But if you like that kind of taco poke, then this would be a little bit more um, just on the salty side, not salty, but 
just natural salt flavors to me with the onion, but I really enjoy it. It's just a very natural um, taco poke flavor. So if you're expecting something with sesame seed oil and all that, uh, this is just your natural taco poke with onion and some Hawaiian salt and just the natural flavor of the octopus. All right, now we're gonna get into some adventurous stuff. This is, I don't even know what it's called. I just saw it and asked her and she did confirm it's book tripe and I can see that. I saw it through the window. It didn't have a sign. If you're Filipino and you know what this dish is called, let me know in the comments. But it's pretty much book tripe and it looks like there's some green onion and a little bit of chili pepper flake. It doesn't smell like much. I mean, I don't smell anything, uh, but we'll take a taste of it. All right, so here we go. Good thing I'm hungry because um, I'll enjoy it more maybe. So here's the book tripe. You know, it's not bad. It's just like a salty flavor and that crunch of the book tripe, which I don't mind the texture. Like I said, I eat it in fall and I actually enjoy it in fall. And uh, my grandmother used to make this on New Year's, but we dip it in Chinese mustard and shoyu, and I enjoy that too. But this one's just like a salty flavor. I see the chili pepper flakes, but I don't taste chili yet. It's not spicy to me, but it's pretty plain. Just a salty, savory flavor and a little bit of that green onion. But, you know, it's not bad. If you're looking for book tripe, Kay's Fish Market. But yeah, I definitely have to eat rice with this. Um, it's kind of like a little bit plain on its own, but it's not a bad flavor. I do not like thick tripe, like the, I don't know what it's called, the uh, large intestine of any animal. That's where you really smell that barnyard poop smell, no matter how much you wash it, I don't care. It stinks to me, but this does not have a funky flavor to me. It just has that crunchy texture. It has no funky smell. So if you've never had book tripe, it's not bad. And I think for starters, if you've never had it, try to ask for it in pho, because it's usually a, a add-on on pho, or you can get it in the combination pho's. They usually put, put this in there and it's not bad at all. All right, so this is the last one I got. I got four things. And I gotta prepare myself with a little bit of Red Bull. Because if I don't like it, I have something to wash my mouth out with. But I'm willing to be open-minded and try it. So this is the Kiliguan. Am I saying it right? I'm probably saying it wrong, but Kiliguan, whatever. Um, it's the beef, but she recommended, <laughs> because it was my first time to try the cooked one. And like I said, I, I'm too scared to do the raw one today because I have to go back to work after this so we can't have me having a stomach ache at work that would not be good so this is like beef offal so the weird parts of the beef I'm gonna guess there's like intestine or something looks like tendons I don't know but parts of it looks like regular beef meat maybe some liver i'm not sure i'm scared but i'm willing to try it because it's one of their popular items that everybody goes here for because you can't really get this anywhere else uh, pre-made so let's try it it's got some cooked onion in there it looks like some the onions got dark so like maybe some soy sauce got thrown in there ah uh, here we go All right, it just tastes like a really soy saucy beef. I don't know what part I'm eating, but it just tastes like beef meat. I'm not a fan of liver, so I can tell if it's liver or not. It has a chew of steak cut into little pieces. But it's got a little bit of a bitter taste to it, like an aftertaste. So you know there's some funky parts in there. This one, I don't know if you can see it. Anywho, 
I'll try to take a close-up. Looks like a piece of um, chitlins or intestine, if you may. So let's try this out. It's a little bit bitter, but nothing totally gross. It's all right. It's just that bitter aftertaste that's kind of throws you off. But it doesn't make me want to like hurl or anything. Wow. Interesting. Besides that weird bitter aftertaste at the end, but it's very, very faint. It's not strong. I could eat this over rice. I mean, it's got a lot of sauce on the bottom, so I'm guessing that's the soy sauce base and a little bit of juice from the offal, but it's all right. Would I truthfully get it again though? Probably not, but it's not as bad as I thought. So there you go, I tried it. Uh, that's probably the weirdest Filipino food I've tried. Everything else I've tried for Filipino food I love. I love sasig, I love dinaguan, all that. So I'm kind of glad I tried it. it. Just tastes like um, steak meat with onions and a little bit of a bitter aftertaste at the end. Very faint. But yeah, that, that's uh, kiliguan. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm sorry. Correct me. Uh, in the comments. All right, so for the prices of each thing, just like any other poke place, um, also for the prepared foods I got, they're sold by the pound. Um, I didn't actually get everything. Um, she gave me a receipt, but it doesn't show you it, each thing. But for the whole four items, I kind of gorged. It was actually $41, but I also got that Red Bull. So, um, I noticed the taco when she rang that up, that was first, it was only like $3. So the poke for a half pound taco, that's actually really cheap. The ahi, I'm gonna assume was the most because of the ahi prices right now are very high. Um, and it was $15.99 for the uh, kiliguan, I believe, on the sign that was near it in the display case. So um, I think it's pretty reasonable. I just kind of got a lot of dishes just to show you guys. Um, so the pricing isn't that bad. It's just that I kind of got more things than I should have. Uh, if I were to take this home on, as a normal person to have a meal. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad. I'm using the money that you guys watch that I get paid from YouTube to buy these things. So I don't mind paying for that. But if you're on a budget, yeah, definitely um, like looking at the taco. Okay, for a half pound, it was three something. That's, that's really very cheap. And like I said, all the plate lunches are from the $3 range, $4 and $5. So you can't beat that. Um, definitely a very budget friendly place to go to for food. Yeah, that's Kay's Fish Market. I just tried the um, interesting things because it's just something you can't get anywhere else that I've seen before at a store that's prepared. Um, but if you're not into the uh, exotic Filipino foods. They've got pre-soaked items. So if you have a party, they got um, pre-soaked kalbi, chicken wings, chicken thighs. They've got longanisa sausage. Uh, they got fresh oysters in a bag. Perfect for a barbecue. Tons of fresh poke. They have all kinds. They have ahi limu, ahi shoyu, the ahi onion, um, and then the spicy ahi and the taco poke, among other things. Um, tons of groceries and vegetables. They had really fresh okra. They had uh, lechon even um, on their, uh, it, under the heat lamp. Tons of fish sauces, just different ingredients uh, that you would need to make Filipino food and just a whole array of fish. So definitely check it out if you're in the Kalihi Valley area. Yeah, so definitely a diamond in the rough. I've always worked in Kalihi for a long time. So I knew of it and always passed by. Um, but actually, honestly, never went inside. So this is really um, a great find. I think the fish is fresh for the poke. Um, I read on Yelp that some people didn't like some of the, one lady in there. I don't know who that person is. Might be the cashier. She wasn't as friendly as the rest, but I don't think she was rude in any way. Um, the ladies behind the counter were super friendly. She uh, was patient with me and explained each thing that I asked questions about because I didn't know which one was which and which one to pick. Um, 
and recommended me the cooked one so I'm glad she did because I didn't know the other one was raw even though it was red I wasn't sure if it was like a sauce or something so yeah um, they're very nice people that explained all their dishes to me and what to expect so give them a try just find street parking uh, there's lots of parking across the street on the Kalihi Uka side if you can't find parking in front of the store and you just cross the street uh, to the store so Definitely check out Kay's Fish Market if you're in the Kalihi Valley area and get some awesome poke and some pre-soaked foods for your next barbecue. I'll check you later. Have a great weekend, everybody. If you like this, press the like button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on another food adventure. Aloha.